Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to another team guide. Today we are looking at Le Leicester City, former Premier League champions, and Brendan Rodgers is really good, apparently, because they're doing great and they've got a really fun squad. So let's take you through it. Attacking, entertaining football, develop players using the club's youth facility. Love that. All nice, easy stuff. They only want top half this season, which is, I will go through the squad, but I think is definitely doable. Fifth round of the FA Cup. And then the next season, so they want quite quick progression. A, a lot of the teams seem to settle at one level or another, like be top half, and then that we're okay with that. But next season, they expect best of the rest, that seventh, eighth spot. Then qualify for the Europa League the season after, and then qualify for the Europa League. Like, Work towards qualifying for the Europa League makes no sense because best of the rest is at just outside Europe and then they want Europe. So I don't know what that one is. It's just outside, isn't it? Which is that one. Let's not go into too much detail. But as you can see, they want slow progression. Um, but they don't want it too fast. They're not asking for Champions League after three or four years. So that, that, that's good. Let's go and have a look at the squad. Let's have a look how much money we got first. 30 million. No, no balance. Stick it on a credit card. It'll be fine. Um, 80 odd thousand in wages I always like to just dump off the uh, loanies here and we'll have a quick look at the squad don't want to go too much detail but we just want to sort of see just rough stuff obviously Kasper Schmeichel in goal absolute beast um, really good leader as well so that's nice uh, we've got a couple of decent backups Danny Ward's not a bad goalkeeper at all and then in, in central defence, we have good central defenders, but they're ageing a little bit. Wes Morgan, what's his pace? S seven. I'm going to go with seven pace, six acceleration. Or oh, nine pace, eight acceleration. All right. Um, yeah. Depending on how you want to play, you, you need to obviously look into that. Especially like, you know, Gagan pressing system, Wes Morgan trying to run around it, run around, uh, run around it might be a bit tricky. Um, but we've got Ben Kovic, who's the youngster, 21 years old. Um, not too bad at all. Good, well rounded player. Ball playing centre back. Nice. Okay, so he's Wes Morgan's replacement. And then we've got Soyunku, who's the guy that I think they owned him last season, didn't they? But because he just wasn't first choice last season and he came in to replace old Slabhead after he left, and he seems to be doing really well. He's a solid player. Um, we've got Ricardo Pereira at right back, who's a beastie. Is he, can he play? Oh, no, he can play right back and right mid, depending on how you want to set up. We've got Christian Fuchs, which you've got to keep because he's got Fuchs in his name, so why would you not? Ben Chilwell, who's a beast. So, actually, we've got Ndidi. We've got uh, Chowdhury. He's the big Afro dude, isn't he? Not bad at all. Got Mendy, Bendy Mendy. We've got Yuri Tielemans, who's a monster. How much did they buy him for in the end? 39. It's a lot of money, but he could be a very good player for a number of years. We've got Iose Perez, who was a good pickup. We've got James Madison, who's an absolute beastie. Physicals are probably his main weakness, but still not too bad. Uh, Michael Brighton, who's here. Uh, Damari Gray, another good youngster. Harvey Barnes, 21 years old. Good, well-rounded player. It's not too bad at all. Um, and then we've got Ian Acho as the sort of backup to uh, Jamie Vardy, who's still fantastic. Not bad, 32 years old. And look at it, you wouldn't know from his physicals, would you? This guy is exceptional. And you might as well keep him, because he's not worth enough money to replace him so quick look at the under 23s and stuff see if we're missing out on any wonder kids there's probably a bit of money to be made here from some of these loanies that are never going to make it but no youngsters no youngsters that are really looking amazing but unlike a lot of the teams they're not expecting you to use the use the youth system at all they obviously clearly understand that it's terrible um Average corporate, uh, great training facilities. Okay, they're moving training ground. Um, excellent use facilities, adequate recruitment. That needs improving. 32,000 seat stadium. I think long-term expansion and maybe new stadium is on the card. It's only built in 2002. Okay, maybe an expansion might be on the cards. But overall, mid-table, 
I would suggest that this is one of the e- easier first year challenges to to get the club vision to sort of match what the club vision is. Um, let's have a quick look at the staff. Whoa! You have fourteen scouts. You're only allowed eight. Remember that when like getting rid of staff. Like yeah, yeah. There's probably a lot of bad staff, bad scouts there because despite having fourteen, we're just average. Uh, coaching staff is actually a pretty good setup for the for the few staff that we've actually got. That is pretty damn good. But obviously, uh, need a physio. Or okay, need good physios. We have a head physio and two physios, so that's pretty terrible. It's the worst in the league. So that needs fixing. That's just a mess. Uh, dynamics should be pretty good. Yep, we're all good on dynamics. Everybody's happy. The hierarchy is good. So. Thirty million pounds to spend to improve this team is is not too bad at all. If I'm gonna assume Pereira, I'm gonna play it right back to bomb him on. We've got James Justin as as an able deputy. We've got great left backs. I think centre backs longer term is definitely an issue. I think obviously Benkovic looks like he's gonna be a beast. Soyunku's decent for now. Uh, Wes Morgan needs replacing. And Johnny Evans is going to need replacing. His physicals are okay, but this time next year, they might be on the low side. But he's a good ball playing centre back for the time being. Goalkeepers are good. This is this is a ready made team, people. This is I think this is one of those teams though where you go onto the scouting, you look and spend your thirty million. Unless you're gonna play two up top, in which you need a striker. I would say just go on and find some really good young talent to eventually replace some of these older guys, like the Jamie Vardys um, and the uh, centre-back, I think. But actually, as far, as far as teams go, I think this is one of the easier ones, I would say. Obviously, as always, let me know in the comments how you're getting on with Leicester, what changes you've made, what tactics you've used and that have found work well, if you've sold any of the players... What's the sort of big value? Have we got any big value? To send? Like Pereira could potentially be one you sell for a lot of money. Valencia and Bayern Munich want him. And Didi, Tielemans and Madison are all going to be attracting attention from Champions League. So you're going to have to deal with that, wanting to leave because Champions League football. But I reckon, maybe not the first year, but second year, Champions League football is definitely on the cards. I think it can definitely challenge, as we're seeing in real life. But there we go. There's my team guy for Leicester. Let me know your tips in the comments below. Get involved. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.